Es šogrīšu. Kaļinis? Nu, mētu esi. Kaip tu esi mētu? Nē, es zumu gal ar kaip ēmiem ar čiū. Mētu mētu ar ēmiem tam. Nu, tam šī, jo. Bet ir trīs ar čiū, būs gerai. Es šķiršu, ka ir to mēļ. Kā? Jā, jā, jā. Niekādā esi mētā? Jā. Tam šī. Labai pelīniški. CCTV Vilnius. It was an exhibition, in a way. Someone will put it like it was like a collective artwork on TV. Mm. And I think that's in a way how it worked. So I was, myself, I was involved like mo mo many other people who were involved in it, except the fact that I was involved like on a long-term basis. So, like I was there from the beginning, but not to the end. Mm. Because I left Vilnius and it still kept on going. It ended because the TV channel it was on, uh, I think their shareholders decided to change completely their, their like uh, concept. And at some point they decided that they're gonna target more like a housewife's uh, uh, audience that is watching TV during the daytime. I think for CCTV it was good because we were already like you know, working on a sort of automatic regime and we were, we were doing it. So, I mean, it became, in a certain way, a routine that was quite also demanding at the same time. You can always think that, you know, something can become bigger, more complex and more advantageous, but I think for CCTV it was good to end that way. The program had a certain following, and the following that we didn't expect, especially in terms of its, like, social sort of cross-section, because it was not a program that was followed by the art world, per se. But I think the most probably important thing was just to make a precedent that this can exist and this can happen, and this can last. So it was lasting for almost three years. Mm -hmm. And like works of, great works of great artists were actually being shown on, on commercial TV channel. And so like, uh, which I'm not saying that like, uh, you know, if you just stumble upon a work of, uh, say Douglas Gordon on late night TV will change your perception of what that TV is, especially if it's Zidane uh, video. But, <laughs> but still, I think yeah, it, it brought a certain disruption into, into like a flow of, into the production, in, into normality of a TV production. CCTV and this project in Paris, I'm doing now, it's like, uh, conceptually, they are like the opposite if one can say. Although, of course, you can find, maybe like you, you can always almost say that they are the same. But see, CTV, the idea was that uh, the slogan of the program was every program is a pilot, every program is the last episode, which sort of implied that each time we completely reinvent what we are doing. And we're not following, uh, we, are, we are not following any pre-existing model. Or we don't try to create like an exist sort of like a, a model to follow. So that was sort of like the premise. And the project I'm now working on uh, for Paris is based on the idea of repeating the same. Sort of like, uh, which sort of like is, is the opposite, although you can also say that, you know, all each time uh, starting with reinvention, it's also like it's a repetition. And at the end of the day, like, uh, you don't anymore reinvent. In the beginning, you think that you're gonna reinvent it, like, uh, and each time do something different. But then you realize that you're actually doing quite, quite the same thing. And even you know, despite of your desire not to turn it into recognizable entity, it becomes recognizable because of this desire. So. Mm, in the beginning, we started with this, like you know, big enthusiasm of of non-brand, non-identity, and then we became recognizable because of that.